All right, so I've been playing around with QB64, and one of the things I don't like is the uh, small window uh, that you get when you're using the uh, legacy screen modes. I'm using screen 7 here, and when we uh, run this little demo program, we get a little nice, a little small window. And um, there is a way to make it bigger, and which is the uh, resize function here and if we run it and just wait a couple of seconds here we go and now we can resize it now this is good uh, but it only solves part of the problem uh, if you create a game or some application uh, you don't want the user to be uh, resizing it from this small window. You want it to open up this size and possibly make it bigger, but you don't want it to start off with a little window. So that doesn't solve the actual problem. But I was looking through the QB64 forum and I came across this post that showed a little hack that you can do, and I'm sharing it right here. I don't have the, uh, the actual post that kind of lost it after I closed my browser window down but if you want to go looking for it it's 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 somewhere out there but um, what you have to do is besides using the resize option is use the screen and new image uh, you can put your own numbers here I put up 1800 for the uh, initial width and height uh, this third perimeter you have to put 32 if you put other settings it won't work and you have to enable uh, this loop here. If you omit this, it doesn't work. Um, so let's try this the, the way it is right now. And uh, you'll see what I mean. Uh, so now instead of having a, a little screen or a little window, we have a nice big window. And... Uh, we can still resize it. So if you want to make it bigger or smaller, you have that option. But at least now it's not a tiny little window where you can hardly see anything. So that's the first thing. And I think this will help a lot uh, with a lot of people. I think I've, I've seen several posts asking about how to do the exact same thing. And I think uh, this post actually solved it. And the other thing I want to show you is uh, the uh, put command. So I've been playing around with the uh, put command in several different compilers and finding all kinds of things we can do. And one of them was uh, using the uh, mask to create transparent uh, images. Now with QB64, besides being really compatible with uh, Quick Basic, it adds a whole bunch of new functionality. Uh, but one easy thing that it does is after the uh, let's say here for after the PSET perimeter, I could specify a color uh, to basically uh, omit or become transparent. So I'm going to use zero. And well, let's first run it again just to show how it looks before I make that change. Again, it takes a while. OK. So now this is the shape I'm drawing here, and there's uh, the color zero here, and it draws it when you use PSET. But if I put comma zero, uh, this omits drawing that color. And if I run it again, I'll wait a few seconds because QB64 takes a long time compiling. And here we go, no black color. And uh, so I don't think this is listed. Uh, I think the uh, description in the wiki says you can do this, but I don't think I saw an example actually specifying an index color. So besides uh, choosing zero, we can choose, uh, let me just, uh, Okay, so I'm going to choose 13, which is the uh, too little 
boxes on the opposite corners. Let's make that uh, transparent and see what happens. So here we go, they're gone. The other thing you can do is use underscore RGB and specify the RGB level of the color you want to make disappear. So this uh, does the same thing, makes the uh, color zero or any color that has uh, a zero value for red, green, and blue. So if you run it again, Come on. So again, we make that uh, black uh, background disappear. And the, uh, the last thing I wanted to show is that I know this is kind of a, a little hacky way of doing this, and even the post mentions it, but uh, one of the things I was curious about, whether this still continues to work after you've made uh, a follow-up uh, screen command so in this case, I'm setting up the uh, the in the visual page to be uh, screen one and the uh, active page to be screen zero, and then down here after I press enter, I'm switching the uh, the screen to have the uh, the visible screen and the active screen be the same. So that's when I press enter, you see everything, and I've tested everything as well with. Uh, with using pcopy as well so if you wanted to do double buffering it all still works um, so I, this is as much testing as I've done but it's nice to know that all this stuff still works uh, using uh, the standard commands uh, you can do a lot of this using the underscore put command and a lot of additional new underscore but I'm trying to keep it uh, keep my code uh, working as much as possible with uh, Quick Basic and QB64, so this is a nice uh, find basically. It's still an additional option, but at least it doesn't change my code from looking everything having an underscore. So that's where I'll leave it at. Uh, thanks for watching.